Good morning. It's an honor. Today is Monday, and my guest, Morgan Wright, on the captain's log, the moose. Hey, I am, in fact, a moose. I love, love it. it. I love it. So we're going to uh, we're gonna pull out here and just make sure I don't crash the car. I'm backing up, and you can share the video. And um, today's a huge day for you, right? Oh, it's a big day. It's going to be, we're going to be on the uh, Miami Finals air tonight, and I'm excited for that. I'm really looking forward to all this good stuff. We won't do any spoiler alerts right now. Oh, no. NBC is legitimately scary with their non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> they have you locked up? Oh, they do. We don't mess around with that. It's It, it gets, yeah. Here, is, let me is, fix that real quick. Are you good? Uh, no, I'm not. But what, I can be. What, where are we at? Oh, there okay, we go. There you are. You can share. Share now. And you're good. I'm so good. We're We're amazing. <clears throat> So this is the moose, right? <laughs> you guys know this guy because he, he's he's this guy I, on NBC, I, I American am. Ninja Warrior. I have a real ninja in the car. <gasps> yes. So, so Morgan, do I yes. call you moose or do I call you Morgan? You know, sadly, at my age, I'm married, I have kids. I answered it whatever, really. It's you know, I'm not really not to pride, shame. I know not these things. If, if I was if I was the moose, I would just be like. You know, call me the moose. I am the moose. No, I'm not doing that because today I feel like, you know, I'm a ninja. How do, do you pull the ninja card or the moose card? What's better? You, you know, I, I gotta say, it's been pretty uh, interactive. I, either one, whichever one I think will get me a free food. Free food. I so, am always like 14 minutes away from starving to death at any given moment. <laughs> well, I would say you probably burn some serious calories. Oh, I do, but you know, uh, you know, cutting weight in my 40s a little different than in my 20s. It's uh, yeah, like I, like I will, I seriously, I literally will have like PG 13 level fantasies over bread and carbs now, <laughs> and even just thinking about it, I'm like, oh look, I lost an ab. What's the what's the best perk you've had from being? Being Morgan the Moose, I mean, you're an American ninja warrior. The show's on NBC. You're in people's, what, 10 million people's homes at least yes. every week. And they're watching you and they're like, this guy, we'll talk about other stuff that you've done because <laughs> I, it's just not, it's not going to stop. I was reading your bio. I found out more stuff about you. And I'm like, is there anything this guy sucks at? Everything he does, he excels at. <laughs> so, what's the best perk you've gotten from being from being an American Ninja Warrior? You know, I gotta say, as crazy as it sounds, the the best perk is, uh, see, I, I love teaching. I mean, you know, you know, I retired from the military. I did really well with the military. I yes. just got tired of not being home. I wanted to and be a thank husband. Thank you for your service, by the it, way. It was fourteen years, years, fourteen the... years. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, two tours. My main tour is Afghanistan uh, for sixteen months. It was. Uh, you know, I loved it all, but I, I love teaching. You know, everyone's like, oh, you're gonna do this ninja thing and you're gonna quit teaching and open up a gym. No, I well, love teaching. Well, you love teaching, but also you four time teacher of the year. Of the I year. mean, first who, paid teacher to get Golden Apple for my people. Who does that? Who does that? Right? And, the, and that's been the biggest perk about Ninja Warrior is that it makes teaching PE that much easier. We you know, everyone's like, oh, kids these days are not playing outside, they're not doing that. It's like fitness for adults. It has to change. You know, we can't do the same thing. It's why CrossFit took off so much. It's why Ninja's taken off. Right. It has to be entertaining. I have to be more entertaining than YouTube or a tablet to get kids to come out and exercise. Ninja has been the perfect vehicle for that. Uh, plus, it is fun. When I'm out and about and I'll see this little kid and I'll, he'll look at me and then do that. <gasps> Oh my God, it's the moose. And I'll be like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> and that feels good. It feels phenomenal. It's I so know. good. You know, the tiny bit of fame I get from <laughs> doing this is it feels good. Like, yeah, people recognize you from doing stuff like that. I'm like, you watch the captain's log? I mean, I know people are watching it and, it's getting, and people are having a good time, but you don't realize it until you go out in public yeah. that people actually are like, that's what they're, they they care about it that they, they see you. They do, but you know what? The other thing is, is kids kids can be ruthless, which that's that's the other thing. I have kids. Hey, Moose, Jesse Graff's better than you. <laughs> wow, thanks, Courtney. That yeah. escalated quickly. <laughs> but I mean, come on. I mean, you've done, you, you've done it. I mean, you've been. So this is your third time to the finals. Yes, this is this is my uh, my third season competing in American Ninja Warrior. I was in season eight in Atlanta. I did wipe out in the qualifier there. Uh, season nine, I was in Kansas City where I did great in the qualifier, did great in the finals, and made it cruised all the way to Vegas. Which, I gotta tell you, going to Vegas in my 40s, 
way different than my 20s. I believe that. I believe I'm like, that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I can see a show. Did you see the buffet over here? Hold on, I'm going to get pictures of this. Oh my God, it turned into my father. Yeah, no, I know. I get it. I totally get that. But the thing, like, when you're when you're competing, how nervous do you get? Is it is it nerves are involved or is it just you're just out there and I trained and I'm ready to go? That definitely is one of the... Uh, one of the biggest factors when age comes into play in a positive way. I mean, I, you know, spent years with a MMA. I spent, you know, years with the military. Uh, I was in the boxing team. So I'm, it's like, hey, I'm not stuck in a desert. You're a competitor. No, no one's hitting me in my face. Right. This is so much easier. And and I, I get excited. And that's where I think I, I've had a lot of success. Because some of the younger ninjas, I mean, they're phenomenal. They're literally just specimens of human nature. Right. Uh, but nerves will get them, especially of some course. of those young and it bucks. Tenses you up. They and do, or they get, they they overthink something, yeah. overanalyze, they panic, they don't commit. Uh, whereas I, I just get excited. I, you know, I think that's one of the reasons uh, NBC has really been bringing me back. They realize I'm very genuine. I always mean exactly what I say, and I really am who I am. Some people have a a shtick or a a show that they put on, right? Uh, then that personality ends when the camera hits click. Really, I'm the same guy in and out. Well, I mean, I think that that's why everyone has embraced you. Obviously, that's the big, that's a big draw and a connection to your fans. They see you, they see you as a school teacher. You teach PE in Fort Myers. Yep. Um, you know, and that's just amazing because these guys, you gotta, you gotta look at the competition. They can't be in the classroom teaching, you know, eight hours a day like you. They're obviously like eating protein shakes and working out 14 hours a day. Oh, and, and, and you're and competing on that level in at 40... 44 now. 44. 44. God bless you. I, I, I'm 41, and I don't think I'm getting... A, I'm going to be a ninja anytime soon. I, it, it's funny. Like the <laughs> Maybe for I, Halloween, I'll be a ninja. <laughs> but uh, It is. The older I get, the more sounds I make getting out of bed in the morning. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a... A direct uh, correlation there somehow. How do you have time to to hit the gym and be so fit and do all the workouts and still compete at that level? It's a lot of it just comes down to balance. I've I've learned there there are the three most important rules of just overall fitness. Number one, go to bed. Good quality sleep habits, and you'll find people. Oh, I can't do that. No, you're telling me it's, you can't. It's not a priority. Yeah. But if you don't get good sleep habits, you 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 make bad choices. How many of hours of sleep? I I need about seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, on average, males tend to need uh, slightly less sleep than like female athletes. I've compared notes to some of the female ninjas. Well, we'll talk training tips. I need about seven hours because that's when your body is all it's repairing. You. It also helps you make better choices in nutrition. You know, if I, I'm not going to go through a drive-in. I'm going to have enough energy to get up, prepare my meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two is reasonable nutrition. I don't treat my body like a temple. I treat my body like a truck. If if you fill a truck with mostly good things, it's going to work just fine for you. Right. Uh, you know, there are times I love carbs. I, I, I will too. literally. The, the problem with like donut, a donut is like French kissing a unicorn on your taste buds. Oh, what's your favorite donut? Oh my gosh, I gotta say Bennett's glazed. Oh, I love Bennett's. Ben, oh my god, Bennett's glazed. Oh, Bennett's I, I, dark roast in Fort Myers. Oh yes, it's yeah. so good. And you know, what? How about the maple bacon? Have you had the maple? bacon? I have with uh, the whole slab of bacon. I'm, on top? I'm a purist. I like my bacon, bacon, and my 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 donut, donut. Okay. I I don't like to cross the two. It's like Ghostbusters. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> you know, it's. I love Bennett's. <laughs> Bennett's dark roast, guys. Uh, two, my two favorite donut places, Trackside and Bonita, Ooh. and Bennett's Dark Roast uh, in Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. Quality, gourmet, kick, oh my a I just, donut. Just, <sighs> like, so delicious. Oh, oh, and number three. What, is there another one? Yep, there's three rules. Okay, we've covered sleep, we've covered reasonable nutrition. Then, then comes fitness, exercise. And that means, normally, especially as we age, you need a lift. You need a lift weights. Uh, it sounds crazy, but I'll do a lot of push-ups, a lot of pull-ups, I'll climb a lot of ropes, but I also spend at least two days in the week lifting weights because as we age, we lose our balance right. and, and our flexibility okay. and our fast twitch muscles. So I'm not on machines. I'm on free weights. You know, I'm doing squats. I'm doing deadlifts. I'm doing overhead press. I'm doing them. So many pull-ups. Oh. I can't imagine. But th now that's an interesting question because when they preview the stories of all the athletes and what they do, they show them like in like either ninja gym setups or something. Do you do that, or is I do. this where where do you get that kind of 
uh, setup. Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, there is another ninja that lives in the area. We competed together in season eight. His name is Jeff Harvey. Phenomenal young man. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, the ninja gods did not call him back uh, for season nine and season ten, which is a shame. Because the guy, he's just a phenomenal athlete, all around great guy. He has a, a personal setup. In a, in a private warehouse that we go and hang on. It, and it's it's like a Rocky gym, you know, or, or for Rocky Balboa, where it's it's not pretty. It's it's right. very bare bones. So you're punching meat slabs. Oh, we are. We are. <laughs> Except instead of meat slabs, it's a salmon ladder and a pegboard and all. The, yeah. You know, I've also, uh, even though uh, I am the neighborhood darling of the HOA, because I built a child's playground in my backyard. Oh, I have a 20-foot yeah. rope climb, a 20-foot oh, nice. monkey bars with all the grips and pegboards. And, uh, I just got lucky, though, because a, a couple of key members in the HOA board are like, nope, we love Ninja. That's, uh, that's definitely a playground for that's children. That's going to happen. Right. Yeah, so I got that blessed off. Very, Very happy nice. about that. That's good. That's a perk from being a Ninja it, it That's a huge perk. Yeah. You know, and, and the other tough part is just, you know, everyone's motivated. Everyone has motivation at different times. It's the, the biggest part is finding... Uh, discipline because discipline is what takes over when motivation fails you if we all only worked out when we felt like it we'd be at the gym maybe once a week right you know but the days like you know like when you know you're 44 and you're gonna be on national television it does help me put down that donut till the next day I agree I agree I can understand that and I can't I can't sympathize or, or be on the same level because I'm not on national TV in that kind of body. Or yet, yet. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on That's it. I am spirit. at the gym every day, though. I am at the gym. So around the house, are you are you dad or are you... Tell me how that works. Like, wife says, do the dishes, and you're like, heck yeah, moose baby. Moose does not do dishes. Oh, my moose does so many dishes. You I do. have learned. Okay. Now, if you're a guy and you're watching this right now, I'm giving you advice for life. Okay. I had a friend of mine, he bought his, he bought his wife flowers. And he's like, oh, she barely said thanks. That's right, you bought her flowers from a joint bank account and she makes more money than you. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> I learned, romance is house chores. Yeah. Without being told. Yeah. You're gonna do the dishes anyway, do it without getting told. Make the bed without being told. I'll throw in the kids laundry, I mean, back in me, I might as well be shirtless in slow motion when whipping through my beard like, hello. You do it all. I do because I've learned, you know, it's it's a great balance. You know, I, I love my wife Lisa. She does she does a lot of great things. Cooks a lot of meals for us. Uh, helps me because otherwise I would just be eating a bag of rotisserie chicken and salad every day. Because I'm I don't I'm, I'm not a kitchen guy. I'm like oh yeah, hey, chicken. And the problem with chicken, no matter what you do to it, it tastes like chicken. It's chicken. So it's yeah. like so I find that balance, and I've learned house chores is romance. And as far as with your kids. I know it, it balances. It is a balance. I am dad, but I'm also co dad coach. Mm -hmm. uh, so the kids, I've seen them working out with you. Yes. How, how, is it hard to get them to do it? Or now they're like in love with the whole romance of American Ninja Warrior and their dad's a star? Like, or how does that, how does that fit in? Well, I got to tell you, you know what? The whole Ninja Warrior started because of my kids. They okay. were, dad, you got to do this show, especially my daughter, Joss. Said, dad, this, this is for you. You know, I want to see you do it. I'm like, ah. Uh, you know, the they time, knew that you would be. It was all her. It was all her. She, she. It was her for her tenth birthday. She's like, no presents. I don't want a present. I want to see you on the show. So I'm like, fine. Wow. She, she followed me with her phone for three days, filming all, all my little training oh clips. Oh my god, that's adorable. Uh, found somebody to help edit it all together. My buddy uh, Jeff Mayer from the school district, and. We submitted the video, and I'm like, whatever. And then I, I get a call two months later, and I'm like, ah, it just got real. I wow. will say the the best part about getting the kids to exercise is uh, if you're a parent and you're listening in, you have kids. I'm gonna help you out here. Okay, from I, the moose, here it comes. It is. I don't pay allowance. I am a firm believer that I feed my children. I keep them safe from bears. They can do some dishes and take out the trash. Okay, but I do pay for fitness. A child should have the opportunity to find a way to earn a little bit of money. Uh, you know, I, I pay a dollar when they run a mile. I pay a quarter for 20 push-ups. You know, if your kid's younger or older, you might scale it differently. Yeah. But I've learned, and, and I, I only pay them once a week on Saturdays. They get a paycheck just like I do. And if they spend all their money on candy do or they keep Do they keep a log, or how does it work? I, I keep a running log on my phone. You know, I they, love we, that. We go to, uh, like, we're over at uh, Futures MMA for their uh, kids grappling and kids Muay Thai and kids boxing, kids wrestling. So they, they earn a couple of dollars for showing up uh, for uh, self-defense classes. Yeah. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the anti-bully. 
check that. But by paying for uh, fitness, it takes away the onus of having to, first off, track behind a child. Hey, did you do your job? Well, you didn't do it good enough, so now I'm gonna pay you out. I don't wanna get into that argument. I'm like, no, just do your chores, do your homework. Then they can earn money. They they both do have phones, because I think, I don't try to withhold technology. Yeah. Technology is the future. You know, by, I agree with that. You know, I want them to know how to use it. Now, I, I do trust, but I verify, I watch their stuff. Yeah, okay. And and they appreciate the responsibility, but they you let them have good. Instagram. I do. They get Instagram. What else? But that's it. No Snapchat. No Snapchat. No. No. No way. No. No Snapchat. No. I uh, I'm not, I am not prepared for Snapchat. They've asked, and I'm like, nope. That's a whole lot of no. Do you and have Snapchat? I do not. Okay. I do. I do. Uh, Instagram. Morgan the Moose. Yeah. Facebook. Twitter. At uh, Morgan Sun. But no Snapchat. Just a Snapchat is kind of like Tinder. It's awesome when you're single. Uh, from what I've seen, I've had I, I have too many of my female friends give me horror stories about getting an eggplant picture in their in their Snapchat okay. feed. Okay. And I'm like, oh god, no, please. I'm too old for that. I don't need yeah. that kind of surprise. Wait, I don't know if they're gonna be sending you. They might be asking. For you the would think. You I've think had a couple. Send... I've had. I've already got some interesting uh, messages on oh Instagram alone. And I'm like, oh god, backspace. Well, I mean, today is just going to be... You, are you on pins and needles waiting to see the show? How You know, it's funny. Even when tonight you know... Tonight on NBC. Even American when you know Ninja how you're going to do. Morgan the Moose, by the way, my guest. He's going to be on tonight in the finals, right? Yes, this Straight. is the city finals. Very excited about this. And the thing is, even when you know how you're going to do, you still get excited because it's such a surreal experience. You know, I mean, the, the qualifier alone, what literally gave me every experience I ever hoped to have with the show. And it was so nice, you know, the crowd is there. The, the thing I love about ninjas in general is uh, we're not competing against each other. We're, we all know we're in it together, we're competing against the course. And and we all get it, the secret to, about Ninja Warriors, no, no one wins. We've had one winner in nine and a half seasons so far. Yeah, who's that? Uh, who's... Isaac Cordero, he won back in season seven. And NBC was like, whoa, whoa, well, apparently this is too easy now. We've had one winner and two finishers. Uh, Jeff Britton was the first one to make it up. Uh, phenomenal guy, by the way. Love, love him. Love Jeff Britton. They're both really good people. Uh, but they and they, they make it. Hey, we Dad. We all My wipe. dad's on now. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> we, we all wipe out. That's, yeah. the, that's the secret. We get it. And when you go into the clear, we were talking about nerves earlier. I know. Chances are, or, you know, none of us are going to win. But we all, we're like, it's like winning the lottery, you know? It's like, right. you, you, there's still a chance. It could Absolutely. happen, you know? And we're gonna start fighting out tonight. No. It's exciting, I'm excited. Listen, I pull in the guy's driveway, he's got an electric car. Is there I anything do. you don't yeah. do that's just amazing? He doesn't even, he doesn't even burn real fuel, guys. No, it's a hybrid. It's I get amazing. about 20 miles and then the engine kicks in where I only get like 30 miles a gallon. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That did I, did, I did get a deal in the car. You're that ninja guy. I am. See, does that help? It, it pays it does, to it be famous, pay. and it pays to be the moose. This is the captain's log. Look at this. <laughs> stay tuned tonight, guys. Yes. Morgan the moose is going to be on NBC. I'm Captain Brian. Hey. Morgan in the house. <sighs> Don't you miss it tonight? And uh, I appreciate it, man. Hey, it's great thank you so much. You. I see you, Scott. What's going on, buddy? Love it. Love Th it. Guys. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks. I'll be seeing you later on off the hook too. Like, like, and share the post, and um, we'll tune in tomorrow, guys. The captain's log.